Good afternoon, church. Welcome to day six of our fast. By this time, the Lord should be speaking to you and you should be sensing the presence of the Lord so strong. I encourage you to journal everything God shows you and be obedient to whatever the Lord shows you. And today's uh, prayer topic will be on addiction, breaking addictions. And it could be addiction to pornography. I know a lot of men in the church struggle with that. So intercede and pray that God will break that addiction from your life. It could be overeating, you know, some struggle with alcohol, you know, drugs, you know, caffeine, you know, whatever the addiction may be, you want to pray that God will break that out of your life because that's the purpose that Jesus came. It says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, he who sins is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. For this reason or for this purpose, the son of God came that he might destroy the works of the devil. So God wants to destroy the works of the devil in our own lives first. And then we pray for our family members and friends that you know they're addicted to certain sins and that's what's impeding them from receiving Christ into their life. So for yourself, you pray that God will bring deliverance to set you free from any sin that so easily entangles you. You know, there's something that, you know, Christians can commit an act of sin, but it's never good for a Christian to create a habit of sin and you kind of embrace that sin and it just becomes part of your life and you've learned to accept it. You know, we're never going to be sinless, but if there's a sin that you continue to commit over and over and over again, you might be addicted to that sin. Jesus put it this way. He who commits sin is a slave to sin because that's what addiction is. It makes you a slave to whatever you're addicted to. So pray that God would deliver you. Ask the Holy Spirit to examine your heart. If there's anything in your heart that, that gravitates towards sin, anything in you that is still addicted to, to other things except the Lord Jesus Christ, you want God to bring deliverance and for the power of the Holy Spirit to set you free. Because when a Christian continues to commit the same sin over and over again, what happens is it creates shame in their life. It creates lack of confidence. They don't want to witness. They don't want to read the word. And then the devil comes in and tries to condemn them and tells them that God does not love them. God's not going to accept them. They, they blew it too many times. And that's why it's important for the church to be free from every controlling sin, to be free from the power of sin. You know, so we pray and we believe God, Lord, set me free. It could be, you know, uh, selfishness, you know, unbelief, doubt, fear. You know, you want to believe God for, to set you free from all those things. Because Jesus did not only die on the cross to forgive us for our sins. And forgiveness is great. You feel a relief. The guilt is gone. The condemnation is gone. That's forgiveness. But he also came to set us free from sin. So if you're addicted to pornography or addicted to, you know, food or whatever the addiction may be, ask the Holy Spirit to break that out of you. Because Jesus says some type of strongholds do not come out except through prayer and fasting. And as we're going through this fast, the power of God is so strong and the anointing of the Holy Spirit is so released that things are going to be broken from your life. And now in terms of interceding, for those that are lost, like our family members and friends that list with 21 names, you know, on the first day, continue to pray for that. And any addiction that your family member is in, pray that God will break that out of their life, that they'll be set free, that they will come to Christ and find freedom and deliverance from whatever trips them and stops them from coming to Christ. So we want to pray for freedom. Jesus said this, if the son set you free, you shall be free indeed. The apostle Paul put it this way, the Lord is the spirit and wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And if you're fasting, the spirit of the Lord should be upon you so strong to bring that freedom in your life. Now, I wanna close just saying that tomorrow we will not have you know, a video like this because we'll be meeting in church and then in church I'll announce you know, what the topic of prayer is. So we'll be meeting tomorrow at church at 12 o'clock, just, you know, just to remind you at 12 o'clock, not 11. So, you know, you show up, you know, an hour early, you're going to help set up, which, you know, it's a good thing. 
But anyway, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep believing God. Stay strong and pray and intercede and allow God to do great things in your life and in your family's life and in your friends.